In this video, we're going to look at setting up your Twitter and social monitoring integration. So what I want to do with my Twitter install or my Modic install rather is automatically identify when people mention me and I can always use that to market them. So the first thing I want to do that's a little bit outside of pure social monitoring, but I need a place to put the people that are mentioning me. So let's go ahead and create a segment. And I'm going to create a new segment that I will call Twitter mentions. And we'll go ahead and close that. So we have a place, a dynamic list where we can put that. Now you should note, of course, that I am using a self-installed version here of Modic. I'm not using the hosted version. So there are some differences, but let's first look at the self-installed version. So I've created my segment and the idea will of course be that I can come into the channels and use the social monitoring to find out when someone's mentioning me. But before I can do this, I do need to set up my social, my Twitter integration. So use the little gear icon here in the top right, plugins, and then we can choose Twitter. And it comes up with this, this little uh, authentication screen where it wants a client ID uh, and a secret code. And then it gives me a callback URL. So what you need to do now is just go over to your Twitter, make sure that you're logged in and go to apps.twitter.com while you're logged in. And you'll need to create a new application. So go to create new application. You can call this anything you want. I'm going to call it lead theory just so that I have the name and a description, which will be um, my Twitter and Modic integration. Now here's the website. Now you do need to specify the HTTP in front of it or HTTPS, otherwise it won't work. So I will do HTTP leadtheory.io as my website and then a callback URL. So the callback URL is this URL that Modic is giving you. Yes. Let me go ahead and copy that. Come back over here and we'll paste it in at my callback URL. And then we will have read to and agreed to the develop, developer agreement and I'll create my Twitter application. So that application has been created. Um, and then I get some secret keys. Now, if you go back over to Modic, you'll see it wants a client ID and it wants the client secret. So the best way to look at this is to come up here to your keys and access tokens. And there's my consumer key and my consumer secret. So take your consumer key, place it in there at the ID and take your consumer secret and paste that in there. And now we click authorize, oh, I'm going to go ahead and set that to publish and click authorize application. Ah, well, it's probably good that I showed that uh, you can see here that it does need to spawn a pop up to do the Twitter integration. And I have a browser uh, pop up blocker installed. So let's just uh, always allow pop ups from there. And let's try again, authorize app. And you can see there's the pop up and it wants to authorize my lead theory app. So to use my account and it's going to read tweets from my timeline and see who I follow. Note that it cannot post tweets for me, um, unfortunately, um, which would be convenient. But let's go ahead and click authorize app. And there we go. And now I can just click save. Right, Twitter is now integrated and highlighted. So now we can use channels, social monitoring, and let's add a monitor. Click new. And I'll say mentions lead theory as the name. What kind of monitoring method? Uh, it could be a Twitter mention or a hashtag. Uh, let's just do a hashtag here for simplicity. Um, and if anybody uses the lead theory hashtag, 
then I want to be notified of that and make sure it's published. And what do I want to do? Well, I want to add them to the Twitter mention segment that we had just created. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll save and close. So now I will go over just to my twitter.com account. And let's just do a test where someone did use hashtag lead theory um, modic course. And we'll tweet that out. I'll go back over here and let's take a look at our dashboard. So when we finally get when we pick up that Twitter mention, it will show up in the segment. Let's go to the segments. Um, you can see currently there's no contacts in that segment. So if you recall from the Mordic self-install, when you have the cron job running, it uh, will run whether you specified it at five minutes, 30 minutes, whatever that interval is when it runs, it's going to pick up that Twitter mention and then we should see that contact there. So I'm gonna pause the video here and we'll give it some time for the cron job to run and then we will resume and look at this. All right, so I waited for that cron job to run. In fact, you can set your cron job to run every five minutes just while testing this to make it easier. But you'll see when I came in and refreshed under Twitter mentions, it now shows view one contact. And that's because of course, that contact uh, was created text. And you can see uh, that contact has actually been added now because of the mention. And it actually brings in the picture because of the, the Twitter identification over there. And over here in the social tab, you can see it, it does pick up my Twitter information and then it uh, finds all the tweets from that person. So uh, it actually perfectly picked up someone mentioning hashtag lead theory and automatically added them as a contact in the database. And again, the segments will show you uh, everybody who goes there. So you can come in here and view one contact and you can see who came in via that Twitter mention. So great way to just keep a, an eye on your Twitter stream and be able to automatically add people into your database that do mention you. Uh, and as well, just as a great notification so that you can use it to uh, just to make damage control if you find negative publicity as well. You can also use Twitter within the campaign builder as well. So check out those options. Hope that helped and we will see you in the next video.